Hello, welcome to Hammer Talks. My name is Wayne. And my name is AD, and this week we will be showcasing the Sonus Ear Defenders from JSP and the Evolution Safety Helmet. And we'll be also showcasing the Impact Drill Driver from Mafel and the Dickies Liberty Trainer. And Wayne and I will be going to JSP where we'll be talking to the product test team. Keep watching. So today Wayne and I are going to be showcasing the Sonus Ear Defender range from JSP. Isn't that right Wayne? T tell them about it. Wait, what? Take that off. <laughs> Take it off. I could hear you a little bit. Oh, I just chose to ignore yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are designed to actually, these are actually designed so you can hear a little bit. They're not blocking out the noise. They're not blocking me out. No, no, totally not. <laughs> it was so comfortable. I just was happy in my own world. <laughs> yeah. uh, go on, so tell me about these. Oh, okay, so we, had, we were fortunate enough to go over to JSP and we went and spoke to the guys all about this Sonics mm -hmm. product. They went back to the drawing board and reinvented everything about this, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, JSP wanted, well, saw a gap in the market to, to design and come out with a highest, the high level um, product that met the highest specification, which is 37 SNR. Well, they did say like if they're going to bring something to market, they want it to be above standard. They, you know, they want it to be better than that's already out there. And I yeah, think the there's lots of products this. out there on the market, and this is real top end. It's yeah. really good, isn't it? So. Okay. so, so Features on it then. What's so? Uh... Well, so you've got this one here. This is overhead protection. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got um, the compatibility ones that work in conjunction with the hard hat that clip mm -hmm. onto that. Okay. Um, it's fully customizable. Customizable. So I can choose any color. On you this. can choose any color you like. Yeah. So you could have your your logo on there. Okay. A bit like this. Mm -hmm. Power and talks. Power and talks. Yeah. yeah. So blue, Talk about white. That in a minute. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, though, with that, um, you notice that this one here has got an orange ring. That's got a green ring. Why? Why? Is, why different colours then? Well, that, so that's the one thing that you cannot customise. Mm -hmm. So that basically is giving you um, the level of protection that this um, ear defender actually is. So this one is green, which is the entry level Sonus one, mm -hmm. working all the way through to mm -hmm. red, which is the obviously top. So when you're protection. on site, they can work out what you've actually got on and yeah. know you've got the correct level. Yeah, if you're doing a particular task, your health and safety officer can see straight away uh -huh. if you've got the right ones on. Okay. Brilliant. Um, comfort. Comfort. Comfort's really comfortable. Great. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they did say, like they said, you know, if, if it's not comfortable, people won't wear them. Mm. They'll, they'll yeah. just put them down and you've got no protection. Yeah. So if they're, they're, their aim was to make it as comfortable as possible, but still giving you the protection you need. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay. okay. Can you give me the top five things? Top five things for this particular product. So one has to be that it meets the highest level specification on the market. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the, the top end one. Um, it's a comfort, yeah. definitely comfort all day. What I like about it is um, the customizable, um, sorry, the, the color rings on there as well. So it's signifying the level of protection. Yeah. Um, the customizability of this whole product, being UK based, mm -hmm. these guys can react very, very quickly and they can colour code that to be branded for you. Okay. Has to be quality. Absolutely. Absolute top end quality. So, really good. Thanks very much, JSP, for that. What do we look oh, like? We look amazing. Look at this. Look at all the kit on yeah, here. Yeah, we're like a bit of branding. Who are don't we? we? Hammer and Togs. Hammer and Togs. Thank you, JSP. Thank you very much. So, what is it? What, what is this? It? This here. This is. The Evo 3 safety helmet from JSP. Amazing. Mm, I know, it's great. And this is fully loaded for us as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great. Pimped up. Um, let me tell you a bit about this. Yeah. This is, yeah, so basically what we've got here, the Evo 3, uh, this one particular here is fitted with the soft webbing, mm -hmm. like uh, comfort liner inside there, mm -hmm. which is really good. So you can feel that's really comfortable when you're wearing it. And what's this bit? Sweat band. Sweat band. Yeah, comfort okay. band there on the front as well. So, you know, that's, that's going to, you know, some of the cheap hard hats on the market, mm -hmm. safety helmets are just rubbed there, you know, not yeah, very yeah, nice, yeah. very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And the dial? The dial on the back is um, an easy fit uh, wheel ratchet, mm -hmm. so you can basically just pop it on, a couple of clicks, mm -hmm. that's good. And it, you know, you see where it fits there, the base of the spines, uh, yeah. the, the, the skull, so it's not going to fall off. It's great, really comfortable. Okay, so um, um, what's, like, we've obviously they've put the ear defenders on here, can, can this have any other things put on it? Yeah, it can have a multitude. Uh, these guys have so many different options for this. So this one here, this is fitted with the Sonus Ear Defenders, actually in our color range there. Uh, there's a Visi light which uh, can be turned on um, to give increased vis visibility during darker working hours like winter mornings and evenings. 
and this can be uh, recharged via a USB port on the back. You can have an ID badge, mm -hmm. you can have a lamp holder, visor, so, okay. so many things. If you're wearing glasses or if you're wearing like um, safety goggles. goggles. Yeah, well that's great as well because this also works in conjunction. So as you can see there, when I put that on, it's nice and high. Okay. So the safety glasses, you know, yeah. go over your ears there, aren't really going to get sort of affected by this. The safety helmet. Okay. Um, this one's got uh, ventilation, so you can see there you've got the uh, holes mm -hmm. inside, um, just allowing sort of no condensation inside. And this is also fitted with the CR2 reflective striping as well. And that can be any colour as well? Yeah, they do have a range of colours uh -huh. um, to suit your sort of requirements. And also the hard hats as well, they come in lots of different colours. Okay. So you can have a look on their website. Top five things. Oh, top five things for this. I have to say, um, is the branding option. Because this company is a UK based manufacturer, these guys can react very quickly. They can brand these products with you for very small runs. Um, same with the ear defenders as well. Mm -hmm. Two, has to be compatibility between products. Mm -hmm. So, so many products on the market now, hard hats coupled with different manufacturers of ear defenders, mm -hmm. they don't offer the right protection mm -hmm. level. Because these are tested together, certified. Okay. Compatibility is very key. Three. Comfort. Definitely comfort. All day comfort. All day comfort with this pr product mm -hmm. is great. Affordability yeah. for you know having a quality product at the right price. Okay. Um, and I just think the versatility of this product, being able to offer so many different options mm -hmm. is great. You know, lamp holder, lights, and so on. I think it's brilliant. It's great. And uh, definitely, let's pop that back on. Thanks very much, JSP. Thanks very much for having us down here today, um, to the JSP. That's quite alright. Um, what's well, to the test lab? But yeah, I say this is great. Um, what's, what's your main duties there in your main role? Um, I suppose my main role for the business is making sure that all the products we're making and releasing to market are actually compliant and they are going to keep people safe. How long have you been here? I've been with the company quite a long time now, 25 years, 8 months and 11 days, it's uh, <laughs> not that I'm counting, it's, and I've seen tremendous change in that time, yeah. we've moved from very basic um, sort of safety products now up to ones with all sorts of features and benefits on to try and make sure that not only are people kept safe but they're wearing comfortable products that, that they feel comfortable in, that they want to wear and they want to put on because if we don't have to put them on, they're just not getting the protection. And I suppose that process of the product development has like come on a, a lot, but also the way of testing, I guess, has come on. Um, certainly, product development's come on a lot. Um, yeah. With a lot of the products, the testing hasn't really developed a great deal. Right. You know, this uh, uh, industrial safety helmet equipment we've got here behind us hasn't changed a lot since 1956 when the standard was first published. So, um, some things haven't changed a great deal. Other things have changed tremendously. You know, when we look at uh, respiratory products, um, the way in which we do things now is very, very different. When I first joined the business, um, and the standards have changed a great deal in that time as well. We're, we're testing products from the time at which people are doing the development work um, before we then get to type approval, and then more importantly, one, once we've got through the type approval process, to make sure we're keeping the product the same so that the products we make uh, today are the same as the product we made last week, last month, last year, so that we always know that the products that we're shipping out through the door are going to do the job they're supposed to do. Yeah. What's, what do you think is the most exciting part of your job? Uh, the most exciting part of the job, I think, over the years has been the way in which products changed and always seen something new coming on. You know, we're doing, we're, we're, certainly in the last uh, decade or so, there's a huge amount of innovation we, we, we've brought to safety products. Um, but I suppose the, the best part of the job really is the fact that you know, I know we've got product out there protecting people on a day to day basis. You know, it's, uh, it might sound a bit cliche, but when you're driving around in the car, you see people wearing the helmets and things like that, it really is good. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, I was driving through the Rockies a few weeks ago, and there was guys wearing our safety helmets there doing the road maintenance right. um, in the Rocky Mountains, and it was like, wow. Yeah. Never, never really expected to see that 25 years ago. That's cool, yeah, we yeah. definitely see a lot of it on, on the TV as well, on the top yeah. of the, the oh, yeah. shows. Oh on the DIY shows, but you, you find it crops up in things like uh, Doctor Who and, uh, and yeah. other films and things like that, with little bits of product pick up. So you guys have been um, very kind to make us the new uh, an, an Evo, Evo, Evolution 3 hard hat where it's all been printed up and all the bits and pieces. That's right, yeah. Yep. Um, so how would you test the product like a hard hat? Okay, so a hard hat is, um, fortunately with a lot of the PP products, there's very well defined standards that have been around, as I say, some of them for a long time. 
Um, but the, the key things to do with a hard hat is to make sure that if something drops on your head, it's actually going to absorb the impact energy and work well. So you've got a piece of test equipment that we've got here. We've got a five kilo mass hemisphere which will drop through a meter. Right. And what we're doing is measuring the amount of load that gets transferred to the wearer's neck. So right. uh, the shell will deform, the harness will stretch and absorb some of that impact energy and make sure we've got less. So we have a survivable instant. You know, it's going to hurt, yeah. trust me. Yeah. Something hits you on the head, it's going to hurt. But what we're trying to do is, is to make that into a survival instant so we can get better and go to work again. Yeah. You, you have to be you have to be very quick to see what's happening. We yeah. we have in the past we've taken a high speed film and you can see how the shell deforms in, how the harness stretch and pushes the whole helmet down. And what we end up getting is a is a trace on a computer screen uh, that's got a couple of lines on it and we can see over a period of um, only about twenty or thirty milliseconds um, what's actually been happening in the wearer's neck. Yeah. And that's the important bit to, to make sure that the neck doesn't get injured. So it's um and when I first started, it was just a get us a little click and yeah. a line come up. Now we can see so much detail; it's tremendous the way technology has come on. Standards haven't evolved much, but the technology that we're using to do the testing has really come on leaps and bounds. Yeah. With the hard hat that we've got as well, it's got your fenders, and they, they yeah. sort of all work together and they get certified together. Yeah. Now. Recently, they brought out the, the PPE regulation, um, which should the, the intent of that is to make sure people are better protected that they're wearing a product that actually works. Mm. So what we're looking to do under that regulation is to make sure the ear defenders are compatible with the helmet. We've got an eye protection on the helmet; it's compatible with the helmet and compatible with where the ear defenders are being worn. Yeah. Um, so we do everything together. So um, the ear defenders on the on the helmet have got to come in and out, so we have to cycle those through a lot. We have to actually measure using an artificial head for how much noise is getting through those ear defenders, how much pressure they put on the head. Right. So you've got to make sure the thing's comfortable. If they squeeze the head too much becomes uncomfortable, people take it off and then they've got no protection at all. So uh, probably comfort is almost as important as the actual performance to a standard. Your role is not just uh, the testing to make sure it's certified, but it's also all the other things like comfort and stuff as well. Comfort and stuff as well. And yeah. to make sure that you know after that initial certification you stay certified. And, and yeah. that's um, you know one of the reasons why we have the ISO 9001 quality management systems why we operate um, BSI's Kite Mark scheme. You know, that's a, an independent scheme where um, people are doing uh, some routine testing of product as it goes along. So it's not just us saying it works. We've got a third party who will come in and make sure the product's good. Particularly important for the Cadbury 3 products within the BP regulation. Wayne is showcasing the A10M Mafel Drill driver. Drill driver. He's doing that because I couldn't say A10, 10, 10. So, okay, so it's the A10M um, drill driver by Mafel. Um, this is an amazing little piece of kit. Uh, it's It's got everything you want in a compact little drill. Obviously, it's not a combination drill, so it hasn't got hammer function, but what it has got is a lot of power. Oh, this is great. I really, really love this. Yeah. Man, that's so light. That's like a pint of beer or Absolutely. something. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, it, um, it looks a bit deceiving. You think because yeah. it's so small. But when um, the guys from Afel came and showed me this, he had a, a 60 centimetre um, screw and he drilled it into wood and it went all the way through. No it, way. No problem at all. <laughs> it's not made for that, but they were just showing the power that's involved in it. really in this. You can see it when you press the button. Oh, absolutely. It's got the torque it's in it. It's got the torque, torque yeah. in there. It comes with two gears, comes, you know, you've got your torque settings, mm -hmm. comes a little light, it comes oh, with battery power. The battery's so small in it. Battery's small. The good thing about this one is it's there so it can stand on its own. Right, okay. It comes with another smaller battery, you know, that, that doesn't make oh, it. Oh, so that actually goes up inside. That goes up, goes up, goes up oh, inside and it, it drops down. Gives it a bit of yeah. Some of the functions of it, it's got ang this angles. This is what I love about it. You love all these I've never seen this before. These are perfect for kitchen fitters. So this is right. perfect for those um, shop fitters. Just kitchen drills fitters. around the corner. What's that all about? Around the corner. <laughs> uh, but also then you've got your hex um, right. quick, quick lock fit I really as well. like this. It's well. cool. It's, it's, there's a banger piece of kit. You know, it's even got a, a little holster holder. You know, oh, you okay. Know. So you want to give me the top five things you like about this. Top five is the power, the torque. It's, it's bang on. Um, you've got um, the, the go around the, the, the corner, around the corner mm. bit. You've got um, two two gears yeah. um, for different torque settings. Battery indicator. Battery indicator. And good. we always like a little light, especially because yeah. you're going to be using this under kitchen cabinets. Yeah, in the dark. Maybe not. In the dark. Mm, okay. This is the Liberty boot, and this is the Liberty trainer from Dickies. Let me tell you about these. Please do. Okay, this is a little bit different to what you'd normally find in yeah, the Dickies. Yeah, this doesn't look like what we reviewed and showcased before. So it's not like. 
aimed at the building market. What this is, this is an ESD trainer and boot. So that basically is aimed at like an engineering type company. Okay. So it's electrostatic discharge. Wow. Okay. Mm, so and it's okay. anti-static as well. So definitely aimed at the sort of manufacturing environment. Okay. Um, super, super lightweight because there's no metal in this at all. Um, we get people that come in from sort of research centers where they're using magnets and they don't want any uh -huh. you know, any sort of metal in there at okay. all, otherwise they might go flying through a window. Yeah, okay. So, um, so this is great, so you've got a plastic uh, toe cap, you've got a composite midsole in there, so you've got protection from both points. Mm -hmm. Now this sole is quite different actually, it's like a waffle type effect. And so this one here is SRC rated, it's very, very low profile, so it is designed sort of just for somebody that's on their feet all day mm -hmm. in that sort of warehousing industry. And it's quite comfy, it looks quite comfy. Yeah, really comfy, it's very padded. Uh -huh. uh, it's got a nice padding around there, padding in the tongue as well. And also you've got that scuff cap on the front uh -huh. there. So again, you know, if you're doing some mileage, if you're bumping into things or pallets and stuff like that, that's gonna give that protection. Okay, top five things. Top five things are this, uh, definitely this, um, anti-slip SRC rated sole unit there, that's going to be rubber so it's really good. Yeah. Um, the extreme padding in there, it's going to be nice and co uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. You've got this new type fabric on the top there which is uh, just stylish and breathable. This, the scuff cap is excellent, I think that's a really good feature and the added feature of ESD, there's not many shoes on the market like that. No, smoking. Very good. Show Wayne. Absolutely. Oh, show. It's Thank great. you JSP. JSP. Getting the uh, safety helmet and the Sonic Ear Defenders all branded up with yep. hammer and togs. I'll be wearing that on all my TV shows. You know, I'll be there digging with Alan I'll Tichmarsh. wear it in my safety shop, shall I? Also, yeah. I'm going to put one on up there. Yeah, on display. Wider place, yeah. yeah. People are saying, oh, where'd you get that from? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Thank you. And also, you know, the um, Mafel Impact Driver. Yeah. That was Definitely. really good. Yeah, that was great. With the <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's like good. That. I like the laser beam on that, it was really cool. Like yeah, I'd just like to say again, thanks very much to Matthew for, for the interview at the product test. Oh, it was amazing test. to was, see how they test it all. Yeah, dropping the weight on the safety helmet, yeah. that was incredible. Really effective, yeah. really great. So I hope you liked it. And don't forget, if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, share across all our social media. Do the lot. Instagram, Everything. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, we can't keep up with it. Yeah, there's so many. But things. yes, please, join in and share with us, yeah. and I hope to see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Thanks again.